All right, let's take a look at the markets. Okay, so we have another continuation to the downside. Um, some nice early morning setups. Uh, we had great setups yesterday, and today we have another continuation. Let's take a look at it. Um, if you look, at we had a, a full zone retracement this morning. A full zone retracement. We have red zones on the way down. We're only looking to sell retracements. All right, that's been going on all the way. We've had red cell zones since 10.30 yesterday. So 10.30 yesterday, we broke down, and we've had nothing but cells all the way down. Momo, FZR, FZR, Momo, FZR, Momo, FZR, FZR, FZR. So we come into today and the same price action. We come up and get a full zone retracement right into my zone. Arrow fires. We get a nice red reversal bar. We're above 80. That's a full zone retracement called an FCR. We get rolling down to the downside. And when we have a double doji that comes beside each other with the arrow, and it's below, 80 would be a Momo, below 20 would be an extreme Momo. That means that there's extreme weakness in the market. That's called a tweezer Momo. Those are great continuation trades. And that fired off for the continuation as far as you can see on this time frame. On this up, one 2020 Uni Rinko. If I go to the smaller time frame, the market's so weak, We've had nothing but momentum trades all morning. So you can see that the oscillator below 80, below 80, below 80, below 80, below 80. So it's just been nothing but sell setups all morning. Okay? So that is what we look for. We look for an FCR and we look for a momentum setup. Since, so, so since midnight, we've had three setups, actually four setups, sorry. Another momentum sell. It's a Momo that just fired off. Here's a Momo up against the supply line. So since midnight, we've had four setups so far on our main time frame. So that's another Momo because it's a below 80. The oscillator is below 80 when the arrow fires. Remember, Momo equals momentum setups. FZR means full zone retracements. We're letting the market get back inside of our zones and letting the market confirm that it's going to roll over. So if you look since midnight here, we've had... One, here's a Momo set up here, momentum, as a momentum tweezer. We've had an FZR into the full zone retracement. We go back into an extreme tweezer, which was a big sell-off. Big sell off, we go into a momentum sell again, and now we're working on another momentum sell as we speak. Okay, so that's your price action since midnight, the last eight and a half hours. We only look for two setups. We look for one on a daily basis. You don't have to have thousands of indicators out there. You don't need five, 10 indicators to confirm what you're doing. You're looking for two setups. Either we're looking for an SDR, a full zone retracement, where we get back inside the zone for a continuation with trend, or we're going to look for a Momo, a momentum trade. That's what we're going to look for on a daily basis. Two setups on any time frame. Now what we have is we can look on the daily chart. We can see we came up to our 200-day moving average again. 
hit our head. Remember, we do not close. The body of the candle has got to close above the 200 for a breakout for two days in a row. Straddle, 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 and then there's your big sell-off. That was a bull trap. Now they're coming down to the 20. So I anticipate this market to come down this 20 today. Look for a bear trap. We may see this market just jet straight back up today because we're right resting on support. If not, if it closes below this level, we, we're right on support of 39.10, 39.09. We're right on support now. So we'll see if it wants to continue this morning. They got some bull trap up here looking for it may be a bear trap where this squeezes back up and retraces it today. We're right on that 20 moving average on the daily chart. So we'll watch market profile today as it just. We'll watch our, our, um, our zone. I mean, we've been just getting cranked to the downside. If you look for two days in a row since 10:30 yesterday, I mean, they've taken the air out of this market, and the algorithm right there's your trend change that happened yesterday, right at 10:37, and it's been nothing but sells all the way down. The algorithm said, take no longs. If you take longs, you're getting taken to the woodshed, right? And this is where the algorithm helps out. It gives you direction. It lets you find direction and lets you find the direction of the move. So we'll watch market profile over here today. And if we ever get back inside a low value area, I mean we've been below low value area here yesterday and then today. That's your major breakdown today around six o'clock. If we ever get back inside a low value area, you may get a bear trap where they catch these shorts and then you're going to get back inside a low value area. Once you're back inside a low value area, you're going to look for a possible move. Now, we're not going to think any longs at all. We're still by a short. But if we come back inside here, by two candle close, Look for the retracement. Look for the algorithm. My zones that turn green, you may see a fast market that just jets straight up to high value area. I'm talking fast and furious. This could be a massive uh, a short squeeze to 39.50 relatively quickly on 30 S&P points. Because we're down on price profile now. It's straddling price profile. It's held at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 five-minute candles, you may see a bear trap. They're catching all the bears, and they like to, once they get inside low-value area, I see this all the time. This has worked since 1995, or 1985. More importantly, on this indicator, 1994, this exact possible setup where you get a bear trap, you get below low-value area, it closes two candles inside of it, and it just goes. Don't be surprised if you see a bear trap. You see it all the time. You see it's coming down here, two day down. That's where you got to really watch the system. You got a two day hard down. Nothing but sells on our indicator. We had two days of nothing but sells. We didn't have one buy. That's getting your mind right. That's just being educated on price action right there. If you took any buys on your trade blotter, you got the wrong indicator up because it said short since 1030 yesterday. No longs. It was all Momo FZR shorts, period. We do not want to counter trend trade the market. That's trying to be smarter than the market. None of us is smarter than the market. We want to go with order flow. We want to go with all these high frequency algorithms these banks, these prop firms, these hedge funds, these high-frequency traders, all these algorithms that push this market, it leaves a footprint for us. We just have to trade with it. And it's said to short the market in the last two days. So we'll watch this this morning. If it wants to continue to go down, we'll keep selling FCRs. We'll keep selling Momo trades. If I take a look at catching the wrongly positioned traders, 
Let's take a look at this. Love this chart. It absolutely was on fire yesterday. We came into an overhead supply underlying demand market yesterday. It was choppy. The market was chop in between overhead supply, the red on the momentum chart. If you see red dots over price, that is overhead supply. You see green dots underlying price, that's underlying demand. If they are on top of each other and below each other like this, you're in a chop market. Don't look for a big follow-through on FCR Momo trades, period. Where you start seeing the market start breaking out, once you break down below the 70 line, my, my lower zone, I got three zones, shallow, intermediate, lower. Once you break below that, you turn six red. Look for the market to go vertical. The market can only do two things. The stock market is not very difficult to understand. It's either going to go vertical or it's going to chop, period. That's it. So you have to decide with the indicators that you use, and this indicator is great at doing this, are am I a trend market or am I in a chop market? This inflection point right there, when we turn all six red, that's when we started the trend at 1040 or 1046 and 20 seconds yesterday. That started this move. It said you better not take any longs or you're going to get stopped out. You better not take any longs. Sell retracements. So then what we can do is we can wait for the rolling position traders or what's called counter trend traders. Like I always tell traders in the members in the room, and I try to educate traders this way, when I was a guest speaker at the Las Vegas trade show, I had around 6,000 traders. We go over this all the time. I asked the audience how many traders make money counter trend trade the market. Well, you know the answer. In fact, I've never seen of all the members that I've actually seen come through this room or the people I've talked to inside and outside this room or the people in Vegas, I've never seen one counter trend trader be successful, not one. I've never met them, I've never seen one, I've never seen the results that have been successful. So we know counter trend trader based, based upon my experience, based upon tons and tons of hundreds if not thousands of traders that, that we've been exposed to. It just doesn't work. You just can't try to catch the falling knife on these retracements. But yet, you have all these indicators that come free with all these different trading platforms and they try to catch the falling knife. They try to catch these retracements, try to catch these retracements, try to catch retracements. It just doesn't work. What these high-frequency algorithms do is they are built to sell retracements with trend. And you got to know where the spots when these algorithms are trying to pull the trigger. So what we want to do then is we want to see where these spots are. That's when these opposite color speed bars come in. These opposite color speed bars tell us when counter trend traders are pushing the market because you have what's called uh, a lot of traders call them volume nodes um, in market profile terms a lot of traders call them volume exhaustion it's when you get this hard push speed against trend and these green bars against red trend come up when they come up you have a possible major inflection point and i don't care what you look at you can plug this in to any futures market, you can plug it into any stock, any currency, you can plug it into any market and you're going to see this exhaustion or what's called, you know, this big volume spike into reversals. Volume, big volume spikes cause reversals. Well, the algorithm does that for you. It shows when these green boxes come up. It lets you know when a possible reversal comes in. It called all the reversals yesterday. So when you see this FZR on this other chart come up, you want to see these speed bars right here because you got confirmation you're catching the wrongly positioned traders. You're catching the wrongly positioned traders. So once you get this that comes up and you are below my zones, here's my outer zone, my intermediate zone, my lower zone, the best you can get is if it stops right at the lowest zone. It's called my shallow zone. 
that means the market's really weak or below all my zones. That means the market's really weak. And you get a momentum set up here or you get an FZR. That means the market is extremely weak. You're looking for an extreme push down. So when you see these green bars pop up and they close, look for an FCR or a Momo trade. That's how you catch the counter trend traders and the rolling position traders. Traders continually, novice traders, amateur traders that go out and they get a book from Amazon or they get a trading book and they think they know how to trade the markets and they come in and they try to catch these lows when the market has just been in a free fall since 10 o'clock yesterday. And that's what creates order flow for us. Counter trend traders continually do not uh, do not trade the trend. They trade, they counter, they counter the move. They think the market can't go any lower, can't go any lower, can't go any lower, can't go any lower. And that's how they lose on a continue on a on a, um, on a daily basis because they're looking for a bottom when the bottom just never comes in. So if you come in and you look here, counter kind of traders got caught there. So let's go into today's action. Same thing happened. We're just moving down here. Green bars start printing. Big volume spikes in the market. Top happens. Market just gets cranked. Now the two setups we just had just now that's happening right now. Volume spike or speed. Volume creates opportunities, guys. And counter strength traders thinking the bottom's in. Because there will be a possible bear trap when we get back inside low value area. But still, until you get inside low value area, you're not going to see a bear trap on this thing. Now, we'll watch for the bear trap because we've been getting, we getting smoked from 10.30 yesterday. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 opportunities to catch the rolling position traders. Right there. The only time we're going to look to take this market to go long, the only time we're going to look to go long is right here. We're going to watch low value area. Market profile, volume profiles works, like I said, since 1994. This is the most accurate indicator that I've ever seen. And thank you, Peter Stoudemire, for coming out with it. I got my own spin on it because I have a longer market profile. I don't use a 30-minute market profile. But if we get back inside here, I'm looking for a bear trap. We should move hard to HVA. If it stays below, we'll just keep selling FCR and Momo trades like yesterday. Okay? But to me, we're at a critical level here on the 20. you got to think bull, uh, bear trap. It could be a squeeze, big squeeze. This could be a big squeeze. And if it breaks below price profile by two candle close below here this morning, let's look to sell more FCR and Momo trades. Okay? Tonight, what we're going to do, so that's the plan of action today. Tonight, what we're going to do, we'll keep an eye on profile. Let's get this down profile. Watch the bear trap. Tonight, we're going to go over the algo. Now the algo yesterday, I left this chart up all day yesterday. When I left the room, we, we, we came in, the algo had a sell right here yesterday, right when the market started breaking down, had a sell to 1106. One, two, three targets off. This is a big contract. I let you watch this trailing stop all day. I said here, when I got off the mic at 11, around 2011-15, I said, I'm going to hold this runner all the way into the close if this ATR does not break. This is when I said it in the room, right there. And sure enough, we came down, never closed above the ATR. It held it all the way into the close. That was a short from 39.96 S&P all the way into the close of 39.46. 50 S&P points because you're using an ATR trail. If you do not want targets like that, that's okay. If you want shorter targets, the micros, I had one of the algorithms just getting my targets of 20, 40, 60, 80. And it took two back-to-back -to -back trades. It had a hell of a day also. 
target one, target two, target three, target four. Got me wrapped back in, target one, target two, target three, target four. My trailing stop never hit all the way into the close. What I'm gonna do tonight is I'm gonna play market replay. And I'm not gonna cherry pick trades. I'm gonna go and we're gonna replay every single trade that's taken on this time frame, on this Rinko bar since the beginning of the year. And we're gonna market replay it, fast forward it, and I'm gonna let you watch it tonight on market replay. I'm gonna show you how to do market replay at 4.30 tonight and we're gonna show every single trade. All right, and I'm gonna show you how you can do this. When you get this in your hands, this updated algo, I'm gonna show you how you can back test any market and forward test any market and I'm going to show you how you can do that tonight at 4.30. Okay? So we'll go over that tonight. The settings have not changed. I kept the settings the same all year on this time frame. And we will go over that. So we'll go over it tonight. I'm going to show you two. I'm going to show you two how what we can do is how we want to start out by looking at We want to start out by looking at the back back results on the market and how we can forward test and how we can sim test. And then if you guys want to eventually want to live, if you guys want to live it, obviously you have to sign a risk disclosure because obviously past performance is not indicative of future results. We all know that. We're traders. So, but as long as you guys are aware of the risk of auto trading, we will have this available to you on this next update for you. Now I'm doing 135.35 tonight, Phil. We don't have time to do multiple markets, but we can do that another time. All right.